What up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eli from That's So Eli, your basic Disney enthusiast where every week I find something to DIY. And in this week's video, we are DIYing something from the movie Up. Up, up, and away! Well, the movie's just up, so there's no like up, up, and away, because that's not the movie. The movie just has one up, but you know, just roll the intro. Hopefully you can tell that I have a pimple. If you do, please ignore it. Honestly, still sad from the entry scene from the movie Up, but we're just gonna avoid that. Now, I can't speak for everyone, but because of quarantine, I'm pretty sure most of us have been either in our homes, not really going outside, doing the things that we would typically do in summer. Honestly, I guess I'm still doing the same thing. You know, I'm still watching Netflix, I'm still eating, but... It is harder to see friends and it's harder to see family who don't live with you. But but just like but just like in the scene from Up, that very very sad scene, that you should always cherish the memories you have with your loved ones, whether big, whether small. Because every day is an adventure. Every day is an adventure. So as I said before, this week's video is about making the adventure book that Ellie and Carl have together where they keep all their memories together. I should really stop being so sad and emotional in this video. You know what? And before I get any more emotional, feel free to subscribe down below and also ring the bell because you know what? Who loves ringing a good bell? Ding! Oh, uh, hopefully y'all forgot about that pimple. So the first thing you need for this project is some smooth cardstock. So I chose this sandy kind of tan color to go with the whole vintage vibe hate myself. Anyway, and also I noticed that there was some scoring in the front of the page. You want to leave that on um, and then also uh, instead by just adding some tape around where you'll be putting in the holes to like put the, the, put the book together. Um, by adding the tape around, it will ensure that it, the pages won't like rip out. Because say for example, as you flip and through, the, flip and through, flip and th flip through, through the um, book that you don't want to like uh, wear it down and pages might fall out because say for example when you put all these pictures in you don't want them to fall out you want it to stay intact that's right so um and and then afterwards you, you want to add some little holes inside um yeah 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 uh so basically by adding the holes well it that allows for the like the ribbon or the shoes and the sho the shoelace to go through um i just end up using sho shoelaces instead of ribbon to be more um like secure with it um, and also, and also with the holes that I am making. Anyway, um, when I started making the holes, I was cutting out like squares that you'll see later on, like in a few seconds, right there. But instead I realized it was just quicker and easier just to make X's. Um, shout out to my ex. Anyway, I uh, love that song, my little mix. <laughs> um, you better work, cover girl. Anyway also love that song so basically i just end up using some birch plywood basically it's like a very thin wood i think it's like 79 millimeters or 0. 0.79 millimeters um because i didn't want to use something like say cardboard because it would be too flimsy um especially for painting it on um i know in the i know in the movie they use um like a, almost like a leatherish looking material but um i just had this available and honestly d d during this time i don't like go out and getting all these like new materials all of it like every time so i use the same technique as they use in the macrame, macrame video and if you haven't watched that well link will be in there right now um so basically just mixing together some brown and black paint um and 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 a lot more water than you usually would you're basically almost creating a watercolor with the acrylic paint um just so that you're staining the wood and not just painting it a flat solid color that you still want to see the grain and the texture of the wood um i kind of like that having that feature especially to go along with the whole vintage vibe oh my god how many times did, it, did you mention the vibe aesthetic anyway and also i noticed that after a while you can add maybe one or two layers of like this like um wash but after a while if you get if you add too much then it it kind of gets like it, it defeats the purpose so that's how it looks when it's still like wet um and afterwards you just want to let it dry it didn't take that long because it's the water will, will go oh wait who won the world girls love that song honestly i have interest about songs anyway um and on the back edge where to be to cover it up i just added some like 
um, paper, like with like with like a kind of like the um, a map texture. You can honestly just use a map to be honest. I was just going along with the whole like adventure vibe. They're going with the vibe. And this whole video is just about a good vibe, you know. We're, we're vibing. Anyway, so just to cover it up, and then. Uh, at this point, we can start assembling, assemblage, assemblage, whatever. We can start putting together the book, um, just by, by just taking the um, whatever string you have. I had, I honestly just used a shoelace, which is beneficial because it had an aglet. Which, if you don't remember from Phineas and Ferb, aglet, a g l e t, blah blah blah. Um, so this is how put it together. And then after, when you're on your last page, you can um, put the. Uh, the whole thing together and you're basically kind of done now we're just doing the more decorative elements but the whole putting together process of the book putting together process of the book we're just gonna go with that um it's all fine and ready um i just had this because i'm a craft hoarder i just had some like red fabric you don't want to use paper for the kind of covering of the binder part or like the spine i read books um, you don't want to use paper because it might like wear and tear after flipping through so you need something that's durable whether felt or fabric also i forgot to show you something because my phone actually like ran out of like storage so you'll see it later on but i basically use like three metal like rings to put the hole through of in the fabric but we'll see it this is so sad um so yeah so i organized my pencil crayons like yeah. that Honestly, I forgot I said that, so I left it in, so that scared me too. But honestly, I hate that when that happened. You know when your family calls you and then you're like, what? And then they don't respond? Happens to me all the time. Anyway, so as you can see, the part that I forgot the... Wow. I'm so organized. I'm, you know what? I'm more organized than I thought. Go me. Anyway. Um, so basically, I'm just taking my very organized set of Prismacolor pencil crayons and basically just follow, following the colors from the, from the movie and using the different colors to use the, um, to write the title. And also, on the, uh, on the front of the book, I, I didn't have, like, a globe stamp, so I literally just took the, the same brown paper and just, like, used a pencil crayon and, like, just, like, wrote, or, like, wrote. I drew, like, like, the globe kind of, like, like, part. Um, and also, I just kind of glued it together. Um... Yeah, I use my fingers, whatever. It's like my glue. No, 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 no drama, no shade, uh, no hate. Uh, yeah, so, and, and also like a fake piece of tape. Also, something that I did was I made it more rustic and just ripped off the edge. You don't have to do this part, but I was just, like extra and had fun with it. So, honestly, you do you. Ta da! And this is the final look of the book. I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, and, and, and I can't wait for it to put all the memories, especially during this time, just to remember everything. Um, not that I have bad memory, but I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the first photo to go in this book. Yeah. Did that pimple get bigger? Honestly, I have to put zip cream on this after I film this video. So I hope all of you liked this video, especially this is the part that wanted some up, but also especially during this time in quarantine. But especially during this time in quarantine when you can't make every day an excursion or a trip or, or even just going out with your friends and family as easily. I feel like that's just by taking pictures, even just honestly screenshotting a Zoom call. Honestly, I think, I think screenshotting Zoom calls might be the new group photo, group photo? Mm-hmm. So still being able to catch memories, especially during this time. So I hope y'all liked this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a comment down below of what your favorite part was. And maybe give it this video a big thumbs up. So see y'all next time in the next video or next vlog. Either one. Honestly, sometimes it's a vlog, sometimes it's DIY. Honestly, a bit of both. So see y'all in the next time we see each other. Bye! Okay, I have to put Zixi now. Okay, bye. Really. <laughs>